Hey everyone, it's Pyrotech4051. And yes, I know it's been forever since I posted, but you know, I've been working and I had a lot of things going on, but I'm finally finding time to get back into business and my alarms here. But today I'm gonna to be doing a video here about this panel. This is my uh, Gamewell Flex 404 panel. I'm gonna be going through the uh, programming just switches here. And I'm doing this for a friend. I know I did this with the MS4 back a while ago, but honestly, I felt like that video was a little bit eh. I didn't, and I kept stuttering a lot, so. But, yeah. So, disc switches are down here. And you have your little, and there's a little manual right here for each of the disc switches, but they don't really give a detail of what they do, so I'm going to do that for this video. You have three sets of dip switches here. Set one, set two, set three. Set one is most of your general programming. Set two is most of your initiating divide circuit programming. Set three is your NACs, is mostly your NAC programming. So we're gonna go and start with the set one here, which is on the very left. Yes, this is a knife. So switch one here is for silence inhibit. Basically that means that when the panel is an alarm, it'll refuse to silence for a minute, so you cannot manually silence it when it activates for a minute. I don't know why they, what the point of that is, but I don't know. These panels have it. Switch two is for auto silence. Basically that means that when the panel is, when the panel is going on for over 20 minutes and it's an alarm, after 20 minutes the panel will silence itself. Switch three is your temporal coding, and that's self-explanatory, that sets your panel to code three. Switch four is your selective silence, and the selective silence only works if sync is enabled. So selective silence is basically, say, you have a 2R device, like a Spectral or Advanced P2R hooked up, and you have it on system sensor sync. When you silence the panel, the strobe will keep going. They don't really have that as a requirement anymore, so I don't know what the point of that is now. Number five is your trouble reminder. So after 24 hours, the panel and your panel's in trouble, say like there's a zone four trouble. So if you have the trouble acknowledged, after 24 hours, the trouble will start going again. Till, so the panel will let you know, hey, I'm in trouble, you should call a technician over here or you should fix me. So number six is your AC trouble delay. So say that the power goes out or you have a battery fault. And what that does is that it'll wait a while before it'll go into power trouble. Now, switch number seven is your auto resettable supervisory. So if you have a supervisory zone enabled and you reset that zone, the panel will self reset. Switch number eight is your IDC combination water flow and supervisory circuit. That's something to do with if you have like a water flow system installed. So I don't know what that's really for. That's set one. Now in the middle here, set two, and this is your initiating device programming. Switches one and two for zone one, three and four for zone two, five and six for zone three, and seven and eight for zone four. They all basically have the same thing, which is verification and supervisory. Verification is, if you don't know, verification is if you have like a smoke detector enabled, if the smoke detector activates and the panel, the smoke detector will shut off and the panel will basically tell the smoke detector, well, first I need you to verify this to make sure it's an actual legit thing. And within like a 30 or 80 second mark, if the smoke detector activates again, then it'll set the panel into alarm. And verif and supervisory basically just sets the zone to supervisory for water flow or anything. And that applies for basically anything here, one and two, three, four, and so on and so forth. Now the set three here on the right is your basically your NAC programming. Switches one and two, are for NAC one, three and four for NAC two, and they're both. And these switches basically do the same thing. They have you have non-silence or disabled. Non-silence will basically means you can the, if you have that enabled for that NAC, the NAC will keep on going, so you can't silence it. So hence non-silenceable. And disable is where you can disable it before maintenance work. One and two are for NAC one, three and four for NAC two. Now switches five and six right here are for your uh, sync. If you have switch five on, that's system sensor. If you have switch six on, that's Gentex. If you have them both on, it's Wheelock Sync. Switch seven is for non silenceable water flow for combination circuits, but that's again for water flow circuits. And switch eight right here is basically an extra. 
so it's, it, has no, it has no use for it. So that's the programming dead switches on these panels. So just wanted to put this video and just show you guys. I'm, I haven't forgot about this channel, so yeah. So this is Pyrotech 4051, and have a wonderful day, y'all.